In this tutorial, I will illustrate the steps needed to create a convex icon that can be used in a logo project. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. Let's make this any size I want. And I'm going to turn on our stroke and fill dialog. And I'm going to give this a radial gradient. And we're going to have to edit this. I'll click on the edit. And I'm going to slide this over to a white. And the second stop, I'm just going to slide its opacity all the way to full. OK, that gives us a, a nice little gradient. And I'm going to shift that a bit to the upper left. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to change its color so I can see it. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a transparency so I can see what's behind it. I'm going to select our node tool, dynamic offset, and I'm going to pull it up a little bit. I'm going to send this duplicated copy to the back. I'm going to duplicate our blue circle. I'll slide it over for now. I'll select both of these circles and I'll do a difference to cut out the inside. I'll select these two items and align them together. Okay, we're getting close. All right, now I'll select this purple, and I want to make sure that I have full opacity. And I'm going to make this a light gray. I'm going to duplicate this outer ring, make it a light white, and I'll select our node tool, dynamic offset. I'll pull it in a little bit. Okay, I'll select the white ring and I'm going to give it a blur effect of uh, 2.0 and I'm also going to give it a gradient. Okay, that gives us a nice, kind of like an orb. Uh, with this effect right here, you can do lots of things. Um, this is in the same style as the Palm logo or the Dell logo. Uh, so what we can do next is add some text. And I'll just add some default text here. Select our orb. And I'll align these things. Make this white. I'll duplicate the text, get dark, give it a blur effect of two, and I'll send this to the back. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is duplicate the outer gray ring, make it a dark black. I'll give it a blur effect again of two send it to the back and there you go this is our convex icon now a, a neat little effect too is uh, you can leave it this way if you're satisfied or if you want more of a metal a shiny metal like a steel look you can pull that outside gray if I can if I can grab it here We hold the Alt key down and select behind it again. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it here. Just a second. Let me get this out of the way. 
line these things back up. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. We'll slide this over. Okay, now this effect kind of gives us that nice shiny steel look. So if that's what you're happy with, you can leave it like that, or you can snap this thing back on, and you can go with a lighter gray look. And that's how you make a convex icon. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.